Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's video I'm going to do for you is on false lashes. Basically, I did a brow video and people seem to like it and um, I thought, well, people obviously like to focus in on one area and brows are tricky and eyelashes are tricky so I'm going to do an eyelash demo today. Um, but to start off with, I'm going to tell you what makeup I've got on. I have got on Chanel's new foundation, Perfection Lumiere. I put a little bit of Bobbi Brown concealer under my eyes, around my nose and on my odd blemish. I haven't powdered it. I've then got a little bit of Chanel cream bronzer. On the apples of my cheeks, I have got MAC cream blend blush in something special. My mascara is Clinique High Impact. What else have I got on? On my brows, I've got Laura Mercier brow pencil. And on my lips, I've got stone lip pencil with a little bit of this sleek pout polish on top. In bare, bare minimum is the colour. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's get started. Now, loads of lashes that you can get, all different. Things you need to start off with, a pair of scissors, a pair of tweezers, and your lashes. Um, there's quite a few glues that you can get. A lot of them come with a little glue. Oh. A lot of them come with a little glue. I don't tend to use this because I don't think it has enough stickiness to it for me. I use Duo um, glue, which is a latex glue. Also comes in a waterproof one. It also comes in a black one as well. Um, I never really understood the black one. Maybe you've got black liner on, but still, this one dries clear, so I don't know why you would use the black one, but hey ho. Also, I can't find mine, but you can get a latex free glue as well. Uh, Revlon do one, and Illa Masca's glue is latex free. So for those of you that are allergic to latex, you don't have to not wear lashes, and lashes seem to be really popular at the moment. I've seen them in all the shops, and they're everywhere. Now, you will find that some lashes, Illamasqua lashes, these ones don't seem to have a number. Um, the stems to them are quite hard. So, oh, there's the Illamasqua glue. So that one's latex free. So some lashes, you will find that this strip here is very, very tough and hard to bend. That makes them a little bit more uncomfortable. What you need to do is trim them to your size, and you always take from the longest end. So this would be on this eye, because it tapers out slightly more that way, so you follow the shape of your eyes. And obviously it's going to, it might fit my eye but it's going to sit in this very corner here and when I blink it's going to be very very sharp so I tend to start about a fingertip if you put a fingertip there I start my lash from where the finger where the, where the eyelash is that makes sense? okay so you trim a little bit off the end and then it should fit a little bit better and also I've kept it away from that bit there because that's the blink bit that hurts now, also, if you're getting married, the lashes that you'll want to use are probably a little bit more natural, not for everyone, um, and MAC do some great more natural lashes. Number sevens, I've only got, I've got one missing for some reason, number sevens are amazing, they're a little bit more dramatic, so if you've got liner or something, they're nice because they're separate, so your lashes show in between, and also the stem is very, very fine and it's clear. So you can wear these without any um, eyeliner and they look fantastic. I'll show you that one on. These are probably my favourite for a wedding. These are number 33. They just look very, very natural. They're very nicely sprayed, each lash. And they don't fray out too much. They don't really look like you've got anything on. And again, they've got the clear band. So they feel very, very light and they it doesn't look like you've got anything on. Corner lashes, they, these ones are number 20, sorry let me tell you what numbers they are. 7, 33 and 20. Corner lashes, they actually do a smaller set of corner lashes as well, these ones are quite long for people with very long lashes. 
they're more comfortable. So if you find that um, a strip of lashes just don't stay on you and make your eyes water, these are probably a little bit more comfortable and they still do a great job. Other lashes that I love for weddings and if I'm doing a wedding on someone for freelance, but I tend to use individual lashes because they're very comfortable. There's a couple of sets there. These are very nice, these new Liz Martin ones. Um, I find that if they have short, medium and long, I never use the long ones because they're always too long for anyone. I just stick with the short and medium and then you've wasted a whole strip. And these are only short and medium, so that's a really good, good one. For a more mature woman that doesn't have ma many lashes, go in to see MAC and they do most of these lashes a little bit shorter, um, normally for underneath, but they look fantastic on top of the eye as well. Slightly browner ones, so if you want to go for browner lashes, let me show you how they look on. Start off with the number seven. I don't actually need to cut these down. First thing, take your lashes off. Take your lashes off and try not to pull them too much because they will stretch and move. Hold them with your tweezers. Squeeze your glue a little bit. Look at that, just pops out. Didn't mean to do that. And then run. A small amount along the back of the lash. Not too much, just a small amount. Leave it for a few seconds to dry, that is the key. Probably about 10 to 15 seconds and then place it on. Hold the tweezers in the middle of the lash so it makes it much easier because you're going to put the middle in first. So when I'm talking it's probably been about 15 seconds. You can blow on them for yourself but if you're using them on someone else obviously don't blow on them for hygiene reasons. So all you're going to do is once they're ready Glue shouldn't be completely dry, just tacky. Look down and place the lash in the middle. Don't worry about these ends being down yet because you're then going to, I tend to pull it into place. Tuck that end in and then with your tweezers. Just tuck the other end in. And you can get your fingers and give them a squeeze together if you want. And I tend to put... I've always got my ma mascara on first. Because it means that your lashes aren't so soft. And it means that all your lashes are together. So when you go to put them on, it's much easier. And that glue will dry clear. I'll show you a corner one on the other eye. Same principle, bit of glue on the back, and then pop the corners on. These are great with um, like winged out eyeliner because they wing out so much. But as I said, you can get slightly shorter ones in MAC as well. You might not want them to wing out that much kind of make them fox eye shape that is. Now I'm going to zoom in and you can see how why I love these lashes because they've got the clear stem you don't have to wear any liner or any eyeshadow or anything with them and you just look like you've got full lashes so I used to wear sevens on their own completely because it looks like wow she's got amazingly full lashes and she hasn't got any makeup on. Well eyeliner. Glue hasn't quite dried on that one yet. Next I'm going to show you these Liz Martin bottom lashes. Pop your glue on and then these ones you're going to have to push into place and maybe hold them for a little bit longer. Check there's no glue on your tweezers because that will pull them off. my tweezers a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Right, I'm just going to take this lash off, easy to remove, give it a little pull and it's off. And, and I'm going to keep it because I'm going to reuse that one. If you want to take the glue off, you just pull it off. the back of your lash and it's reusable and pop it back in its box I have these Isla brown ones that I showed you reason I'm going to use these is because they're a little bit thicker and I want to cut them down and show you so all you do measure them up to your eye and you can have a look and see how much you need to cut off I don't really need to cut any off but I'm going to just to show you. So, this is the shorter end. I'm just going to cut a couple of millimetres off the other end. They're a lot stiffer, so they're harder to manipulate to the eye. You'll find that lashes that have got a very stick, thick stem are very difficult to put on. Which is why you need to let the glue dry a little bit. And there you go. And they fit nicer in here because it's not pulling on my eye. When I close my eye, it's not creasing and you can feel that kind of bit that you want to itch. Let's take that one off as well. Now, lastly, I just want to show you a couple of individual lashes. Much more difficult to do. But not difficult if you're doing them on someone else. They're just difficult to do on yourself. I tend to get a squidge of the glue on the back of my hand these are all medium and then I use my tweezers to pull the lash out and dip it into the glue on the back of my hand so it's white and you can actually see the glue and then just and then just place it on and get out, get out of there quick because it will dry itself, but if you start messing around with it and moving it around, it will start to, to move into its own direction. So I tend to in and out. Two. I think I'll do one more. Three. I tend to stagger some slightly shorter ones through there as well, but just three for now. There you go. I hope that's been helpful for you. And um, I don't think there's anything that I've missed off really. And uh, enjoy your lash hunting. And um, yeah, I hope it all works out well for you and you you can get it done. I know it's really frustrating, but practice makes perfect. And um, the more you try to do them, the easier it does get. I can do them really quickly now. Um, it took me a long time and it took me a lot of tears when Sam was like, I'm not sticking your lashes on anymore. Um, and I had to learn how to do it myself. And then actually now, I can do them so quickly. She was like, oh, how come? So um, practice does make perfect, as with everything that you do. So give it a go. And um, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.